Yeah, like you, uh, you tell us how uh, fine you wanted to paint the island. I'm not sure exactly how fine it is, but uh, like this has uh, it's pitching layer one right now. It's just doing the rafting. Hey, don't worry. Okay. You got tickets? Like a hundred layers or so. Can you import files from like 3D CAD? Yeah. Generally, you want to export it as an STL. Okay. Because if it's an STL, pretty much any 3D printer can print it. More than I do because I can talk a lot. Um, so Sean Frisky is a uh, Ground Effects Environmental Service. He's quite the entrepreneur. He's going to say a few words. Crash Bang Labs. Sure our members and to anybody who's new here or anything like that. And then uh, maybe after that we'll maybe get some music going with Kiefer in like half an hour or so and then we'll just have some fun. So uh, yeah, Sean Frisky. So Mike used to uh, work with me a few years back. And I'll give you a quick history on ground effects. So we're a technology company here in Regina develop environmental technologies for the oil and gas sector. So we build water treatment systems and, uh, and drilling mud treatment equipment. So um, innovation is something that's uh, core to the business. And so coming here today is really cool because what basically what we do at work is create space where people can gather and share ideas and I'm a firm believer in uh, people with different backgrounds really working together to solve problems and not necessarily what uh, backgrounds you think. So I'll give you an example. Um, we build a lot of high voltage electrical equipment. On staff we don't have an electrician or electrical engineer. So, And the reason for that is um, the things we do an engineer or an electrician would think we're crazy and would shut down those ideas before they even get started. So, so we bring them in later in the process when we've actually got an idea and a working concept and then we bring in an electrical engineer and electricians and then it, it gets built to code and it gets built to a certain standard. But what we found is um, just having a very diverse group of people and uh, getting them together in, in different spaces where they can share ideas and have input is, is it's magic, right? So what I see here tonight is, uh, is, is great because Regina is, doesn't have anything like this. Saskatchewan really doesn't have a lot. I guess there's one in Saskatoon. Um, and so it, it's a great space that I think, I think all the members um, can get together and, and really share ideas and come up with come up with new things and and uh, that's that's exciting. So, and I know Mike's been involved for a year and uh, <clears throat> in the beginning it was a bit of a struggle and so it's really good to see the space. It's kind of a cool space and you've got the 3D printers and yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> so, good luck and uh, I think you guys will start to get a lot of memberships with the media attention you're getting and. Uh, it's great. Great to see. Thank Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to do Kiefer for a while or do you want to just uh, background music? Yeah. Kiefer. Kiefer. Yeah, let's do Kiefer. Kiefer, you ready to play? Yeah. All right. Then talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> More talking <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pumped to be here at the opening of NASA. <sighs> yeah, I always thought maybe one day I would get here. <laughs> My name is Keith McLean. Uh, sometimes I play with some other people, and I'm otherwise known as Kiefer McLean in the Curiosity Club. And I'm going to play some songs for you tonight. This one's Woo! called Head Full of Diamonds. Thank you. 
before we take a break. This one's called Close My Eyes, and you can do that if you want. <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh. 